Greetings, welcome, and thanks so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. It's Christian of Standing Stones Healing. I am honored and grateful to have you here for another episode this week, so thank you so very much. Now, this week's episode is a little bit of a surprise episode. At least it's a surprise to me. <laughs> because this week we're talking about adaptability, we're talking about flexibility, we're talking about mindset in our Reiki business. And I will tell you that this is a surprise to me because it was not the scheduled episode for this week. It is not the episode I was planning to record. But you may have noticed, or you may not have all and that's at all, and that's okay too, but you may have noticed that there was no introductory music to this episode. There will also be no outgoing music to this episode either because I am recording on a different computer from where I usually record because my computer was at the repair shop and the repair shop broke it. <laughs> and so I do not have a computer for more than a few hours. I do not have my computer for a few days. So because of that, um, I am not recording my uh, the ep planned episode for this week. Instead, I'm recording a different topic. And that topic is something that is so very important for all of us on our Reiki business journey. Because things will happen in our Reiki business that we don't expect. Things will throw us off. Things will surprise us. Things will, um, quite frankly, frustrate us and piss us off. But the important thing is that in our Reiki business, we bring a growth mindset. Now, I talk about the importance of a growth mindset to our Reiki business in my new book, Reiki Business Ready, Six Ways to Know You Are Ready for a Reiki Business. And in Reiki Business Ready, which by the way, you can get on all Amazon platforms, all Amazon marketplaces, I should say, across the world, it is available. Um, you can also go to standingstoneshealing.com slash ready to get a list of those uh, marketplaces and click to purchase it on the marketplace for your neck of the world and to learn more about the book and everything. But one of the ways, one of the six ways to know if we are ready for a Reiki business is having a growth mindset. And a growth mindset is a mindset that um, is flexible. It's a mindset that is adaptable. It's a mindset that says, well, if my computer is broken, I'm going to figure out some way to still do the podcast. I'm going to figure out some way to still be able to do the things that I need to do in my Reiki business. You know, when we start a Reiki business, or at least I don't know about you, but when I started my Reiki business, I wasn't so focused on all of the challenges that could arise. I wasn't so focused on all of the problems that I might encounter. I was pretty focused on the excitement. I was focused on wanting to help people. I was focused on getting going, starting up, and figuring things out. And I could not have guessed at that time how many problems I might run into. Because here's the thing about the future, everyone. We can't guess at the future. We have no idea what life may throw at us, what the universe may throw at us, and what might happen. And so because of that, anytime we start a new journey, 
we can pack. We can pack extra socks and underwear, but we can't guess if our socks and underwear are going to uh, be eaten by a horse. True story, by the way. <laughs> Not my underwear and socks. Um, when I was in Ireland back in 2012, I was teaching Ireland. Uh, I was teaching English in Ireland um, to uh, a group of um, Spanish and Italian kids at a, an English language school in Ireland back in 2012. And my best friend had come along with me. There was a horse at this facility. It was uh, a, a farm kind of uh, center. And he had left his uh, sweatshirt hanging out and the horse ate it. <laughs> and so um, I don't believe he had packed an extra sweatshirt, unfortunately. But so we might pack extra socks and underwear, but indeed the horse might eat them. We don't know. We might encounter a flood. And instead of two extra pairs of socks, we really could have used three extra pairs of socks. There is so much in life that we cannot guess at. You know, I actually write about it in Reiki Business Ready, but I didn't ever think that I would have a Reiki business. And so I couldn't have ever guessed that I would have a Reiki business let alone that I would have a Reiki business podcast, let alone that I wouldn't be able to record my podcast on my typical computer because it was broken. And so these are things that happen in our Reiki business that we absolutely cannot guess at. We cannot know all of the possibilities that might happen in our Reiki business, all of the challenges that we might encounter. Yes, all of the joys as well, but all of the things that we might have to overcome in our Reiki business. This is why having a growth mindset is essential in our Reiki business. This is why having the ability to be flexible and adaptable is without question, one of the absolute must-haves for our Reiki business journey. Because we don't know the kinds of challenges that we might encounter. You know, if we start our Reiki business with the mindset that everything is going to run smoothly and that we're not going to have any problems, or even, you know, we hear this, I believe, very common in our community. Oh, if your chakras are aligned and balanced, if you are sending Reiki to your business, if you have a good heart, then everything is going to work out well without a problem. You're not going to have challenges. Everything is just going to flow. But that's not true. Um, we still will have challenges no matter how well our chakras are aligned and balanced, no matter how much Reiki we send to our business, no matter how in the flow we are, we're still going to have challenges. We're still going to have things that throw us off, that surprise us, and that we need to overcome, that we need to be flexible and adaptable about. And so one of the things that um, we really need to cultivate in our Reiki business is a growth mindset, is the ability to be flexible and adaptable, and indeed, I think a level of determination as well, a level of um, determination that says, I'm not going to give up, that says, you know, just because this thing came up that's really challenging, I'm not going to let it stop me. Obviously, this is an example in my own Reiki business where um, my computer is broken and I'm recording on a different computer um, and uh, I'm still going to get this podcast episode out. Um, and I'm not saying, oh no, I guess it's just not going to get done. The, the, the answer is, no, 
how is it going to get done? Not is it going to get done? How am I going to do this? How am I going to overcome this challenge? Because if we approach our Reiki business without a certain level of determination, our Reiki business is not going to last. We are going to get stopped again and again and again, and even get to a point where we say, oh, this Reiki business thing, I just can't do it. Nothing ever works out for me. Oh, I'm cursed. My Reiki business is cursed. No, your Reiki business isn't cursed. I can tell you my Reiki business is not cursed. <laughs> These things just happen. And so we really need to bring a growth mindset to our Reiki business, the flexibility, the adaptability, indeed the determination. Now, what do we do if we have a challenge with the flexibility and the adaptability and the determination? How do we overcome that? Well, first and foremost, the good news is that a, flex, a flexible mindset, an adaptable mindset, a growth mindset can be cultivated. If it's not something that comes naturally to you, that's okay. As a matter of fact, determination and flexibility and adaptability don't come naturally to most of us. These are things that we really do need to be cultivating in our own lives, things that we really do need to be working on and actively improving. I know for me in my Reiki business, I for sure have gotten better at this. You know, probably there is a point on my Reiki business journey where um, I might have said, oh no, I'm not going to be able to record the podcast this week. And oops, you know, uh, people won't really notice or people won't really care anyway. And it's no big deal. But for me on my Reiki business journey at this point, the podcast is one of my non-negotiables. I have certain non-negotiables in my Reiki business and the podcast is one of them. Like it is non-negotiable that um, I will not do a podcast episode. And so that's on a list of things that I absolutely must do every single week. And that's a non-negotiable. That's something that I am very determined with in my Reiki business to the point where it's just going to get done. Like, you know, maybe the horse would have to eat my second computer first, but even then I would probably run out and buy a computer and do it and then return the computer. <laughs> like that is, that is the level of determination. Like I would just go and buy another computer just to record the podcast episode and then return it once I had my computer back. And so if you are like, wow, that's a little crazy, I think that we need to bring a, a certain level of crazy to our Reiki business in order to overcome those challenges. Now, this doesn't mean that I am advocating, you know, being um, crazy to the point of self-harm or hurting someone else or anything like that. I am not advocating that level of crazy. I'm advocating a level of healthy crazy <laughs> <laughs> and advocating a level of um, just true grit and determination in our Reiki business to push past the challenges. And so if you're saying, wow, I don't have that level of determination, I would just say, forget it, no podcast episode this week. That's absolutely up to you in your Reiki business. Maybe the podcast is not one of, wouldn't be one of your non-negotiables. I believe it's important for all of us to set what those are in our Reiki business and adhere to them for our own Reiki business. But let's say that you are listening and thinking, wow, I would not be that determined when I experience challenges. I'm just so like, oh, well, whatever. 
And I don't have the same kind of resilience or um, adaptability or determination or grit. How do I cultivate that? Well, that those characteristics are indeed part of a growth mindset. There's a lot to a growth mindset. I talk about it in the Reiki Business Ready book, but a growth mindset really has that kind of approach of, okay, challenges are going to happen and I can overcome them. And so if you feel that maybe you have some work to do on overcoming challenges, by the way, we all do. And so there are indeed challenges that I might experience in my Reiki business that I might not have the determination to overcome. Um, and so, you know, maybe on uh, a, my life's journey, if the horse ate my sweatshirt, you know, I might be just completely blown over by that. But um, there are certain things that we can do to help cultivate that growth mindset. The first thing I want to encourage you to do in cultivating a growth mindset in your Reiki business and that adaptability, that flexibility, even that grit and determination is to really ask yourself, where in my life have I already shown flexibility, adaptability, determination and grit. So take a look back in your own life and ask yourself, when have I really been determined about something? When have I really said, no way, I am doing this, I'm getting this done, I am overcoming this challenge? Because we all have those points on our journey where we've come to them and our back has been against a wall. And we have said, oh no, it is do or die. Oh no, I really need to um, grit my teeth and overcome this. We've all had those experiences in our lives. And so I want to encourage you first and foremost to reflect upon those points on your life's journey and the points where you have had to be determined in order to help show you that you have that ability, you have that power. And so it's not something that you don't have. It's simply something that first we need to recognize that we do have. And so you indeed have had times where you've needed to be determined, you've been determined, and you've overcome those challenges. So I want to encourage you to sit down and write a list of those. When has my back been against a wall? When have I needed to be determined? When have I needed to be flexible, adaptable, and been creative about finding solutions? and write those down. Because if you did it before, you can do it again. If you did it in your personal life, you can do it on your Reiki business journey. So first, give yourself credit for the ways in which you have already overcome, the ways in which you've already been creative, and the things that you have already done. Second, when we encourage when when we encounter a challenge i want to encourage us to you know i don't know about you but oftentimes our first impulse when we encounter a challenge is to have that oh shit moment and that frustration and that anger i told the tech on the phone i was like okay you know um I'm not having a big heart attack right now. I'm having a little heart attack. And so, you know, I had my oh shit moment on the phone with the tech where it's like, you know, I have an online business. I kind of need a computer. <laughs> And then reflecting on, okay, you know, how am I going to approach this? Okay, I've set my business up, the online component of my business in a way that it can still function uh, without me um, for a few days. Um, and so that was, you know, like an oh 
shit kind of a moment for me. Um, but then to be able to pull back from the emotion of it and to look at it from um, as an objective stance as we can. You know, we can never be completely objective. We can never be completely objective because we are always ourselves. We are already approaching every situation as ourselves. And so there is no way that we can completely be objective, but if we can work to get some distance between our emotions about the situation and the situation, we can put ourselves into a more problem-solving, creative mindset because it's the emotion of the situation that is having us run around saying, oh no, the horse just ate my sweatshirt. <laughs> Whereas we, if we can get some distance, then we can bring in more creativity. We can bring in less emotion and really um, consider and contemplate all of the possibilities and get into a more creative mode. And so when we have those challenges on our Reiki business journey, that indeed will come the unexpected things that we cannot guess at, it's important for us to, yes, remember that we have encountered and solved problems before, to take a step back, take a deep breath and try to separate ourselves from the emotion of it in order to ask ourselves, how am I going to resolve this? How am I going to solve this challenge? How am I going to approach this in a creative way to do the things that I need to do? on my Reiki business journey. So trying to separate ourselves from the emotion is, I believe, really important to getting into a more creative headspace. Now, one thing that I like to do is to go for a walk. You know, after I got off the phone with the tech, my first impulse was like, I gotta go take a walk. <laughs> And so I thought, you know, let me go walk this off and um, use that as an opportunity to reflect and get creative about how I'm going to solve this problem. That's my first impulse, although I will say that um, I'll go for the walk later. My, my first impulse after my desire to go for a walk was, oh, I got I to gotta record the podcast like I'm not going to have a computer for several days. I need to record my podcast to make sure it gets out on Monday. And so um, that means that rather than going for a walk, I kicked straight into creative problem solving mode. And so what I have found in my Reiki business is that the the more that I've solved problems, the more that I've encountered them, the more that I've kicked immediately into problem solving mode rather than I need to distance myself from this and take a walk, cool off and get the, um, get the, the emotions out and get the creativity and the problem solving mind and thoughts flowing. I, I need less time for that now. And I can, in my Reiki business now, I can kick right into problem solving mode as I've done now and saying, oh, okay, you know, the thing that I was going to record for this week's podcast, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I could record that episode, but I'm in a different headspace right now and I'm going to go with that new headspace and talk about that headspace. <laughs> so, Taking a walk is so very powerful. And of course, for helping us to get out of that emotional headspace, Reiki. Reiki, Reiki, Reiki is so very powerful for helping us to get out of that emotional headspace and helping us to get into a more relaxed, a more calm um, headspace 
in which we can creatively problem solve and approach our challenges from a different angle and a different perspective. So sending Reiki to ourselves, practicing the system of Reiki, sending Reiki to the challenge, of course, is very helpful. I indeed will be sending Reiki to all of this uh, myself um, after I go for my walk. <laughs> But truly, indeed, things happen on our Reiki business journey that we simply cannot guess at. Challenges will arise. It doesn't mean that our chakras are not aligned and balanced. It doesn't mean that we're not sending ourselves in our Reiki business enough Reiki. It doesn't mean that we are blocked or that we're not in the flow. It simply means that it's a part of life and it's a part of Reiki business. And so cultivating that growth mindset, that adaptability, flexibility, problem solving, creative mindset is really going to be necessary for these expected points on our Reiki business journey. So how do you handle these points on your Reiki business journey? What would you do on your Reiki business journey if the horse ate your sweatshirt, if the technician broke your computer? <laughs> if you're on YouTube, drop it down below for us. Let us know what you think. Yes, indeed, you can get my new Reiki Business Ready book in which I talk more about the growth mindset and cultivating the growth mindset at standingstoneshealing.com slash ready. You can get it right now for only 99 cents. That is a limited time price. No, that price will not last forever. So grab your copy of the book right now. It comes with some awesome bonuses as well. So of course, as always, I'm sending lots of blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business.